when you get to 25 power and Koa makes a, a 32 uh, by 82, Doctor makes a 25 to 50 variable and a, a 40 power wide angle, uh, the new Swarovski BTX, which is the angled uh, uh, binocular. Then there's the Swarovski Twin Spotters. I have kind of gone through all of those and I'm back to the Swarovski Twin Spotters. And I feel like for my eyes, those are the best. Everybody's eyes are different. That's something that I wanted to make a point of. Those are the 32 power Koas by 82. So 32 on the ocular. Uh, 82 on the objective, those weigh 14 pounds. That tripod weighs about 14 pounds. I owned those when they first came out. I had them for about five years. Optically, they're fen a phenomenal glass, uh, but they're, you're starting out with 28 to 30 pounds, including the head. You've got about 30 pounds in your backpack before you even start. Um, the more I carried those, the more I was hoping for something lighter. Uh, this picture is actually the Swarovski BTX. I believe that's the 95 objective on that, and this is a new phenomenon, a new product from Swarovski that's really done well. People have, it's been very well received. The next photo is me actually glassing with that BTX in Colorado, and I believe the objective lens, which you've got the ocular, which is up by my eye, and you've got the objective, which is uh, the, the longer portion, and that is a 65 millimeter. These are the long range uh, big eyes that I like. This is a 25 by 50 by 65 objective Swarovski, what I call twin spotters. Those are mounted on a bracket from a guy in Prescott. If you guys are interested, you can contact me later. Here's a client, he's about to, he's laying down, he's about to shoot at a coos deer and I'm actually watching the coos deer through the, the big eyes. I really like having that magnification, especially when I'm trying to call a shot. So that's a, a, a huge benefit for me as an outfitter using a high powered binocular that I can actually see where the bullet's hitting and I want as much magnification as I can. Okay, you ask if I have any issues with the dual spotters, which we saw a photo of, they're about this long, and he's asking if I have problems with them getting knocked out of alignment. I have not, but I'm pretty careful with them. I actually have a really nice case. The Outdoorsman's makes this case that, that actually fits them perfect, and I put them in my pack. If they were to get out of alignment, I could take them out and probably get, get them straightened back out, but I've used them two full seasons now and never had them knocked out.